little bit clearer now. What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbra, and you're tuning in to another episode of my lawn. Oh boy, we got a good one for you today. We are going to show you how to install the Checkmate 4 Ego 21 inch plastic deck lawnmower lawn striping kit, baby. Yes, I have the trusty, dusty workhorse LM2100, and this is going to fit. I love it. Yes, a subscriber told me I should look into this. Gracias, my dude. Thank you. I looked into it. I got it from Big League Lounge. Shout out to you guys for having the speedy shipping. Came in super quick and uh, super excited to get this going. The, you know, there's going to be some pros and cons to this. We do cut short, but there is the back, which is great. So, uh, you know, we'll figure that out. But for now, a couple things you're going to need, my dudes. You're going to need a 9 16th socket. You're going to need a three quarter inch wrench and also an adjustable wrench. It does come with an Allen wrench as well. So get that gathered together. Alrighty, these are the mounting arms. Yes, it comes with L brackets and we're going to put it together. So let's get going. Easy, easy L bracket onto this little metal thingy. And then you're going to put the bolt with your lock washer and your nut. <laughs> just so you know if you're watching this expecting technical terms and stuff you're not gonna get it I'm gonna give you yard brush stuff okay you get some bolts you got some nuts you got some L brackets you got some metal pieces to put it together like some Legos <laughs> now take your three-quarter inch wrench and tighten it down with your adjustable wrench and make it all nice and uh, good all right as you can see on the other side of the mounting bracket is a clamp mine were pre-installed on their website you have to install it, putting in the Allen wrench bolt on the top. Do your thing. Oh, oh, embarrassing. So uh, I'm going to apologize in advance. My Ego 21 inch LM2100 is a little uh, dirty. It's a little crusty. Oh, oh, embarrassing. I have been cutting in the rain. Oh, man. Moving on. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put these clamps onto the axle rod where the uh, dust shield is. Uh, is that called a dust shield? I'm pretty sure it's a dust shield. So you're going to clamp that onto that bar right there. Use your Allen wrench to loosen That's it up with your uh, 9 16 socket and clamp it on. They recommend going wider, so go to the very ends of that axle. All right, I have placed the Ego LM2100 upright. Now, here's the deal. If it's on level one or level two, it's not gonna work. Like, that's why I said we're gonna, you know, figure it out as we go. That's why I said we have the backyard because I cut a little bit taller back there, but this we cut with the Ego level one, level two all day long. This is level three and higher. Okay, so if you notice the, uh, the the brackets, the mounting brackets, are at an angle. You raise it to level four, boom, now it's movable. It's a little more mobile, okay? You're gonna have to take that channel nut and you're gonna take those out and then you're gonna place it onto the brackets and screw them in, but you gotta be at level four or higher. Now, the channel nuts move back and forth so you can adjust the checkmate so it can be the center of the lawnmower, okay? Now, if they do pop out on you, all you gotta do is plop it in, push it in, turn it in 90 degrees, and it's, you know, you're, you're back in action. All right, yes, it's on. It looks uh, good. That was fun, that was fun to install, and this is a nicely built piece of equipment for sure. Checkmate, good job. I can't wait to get out there. Now, this is just the install video. I didn't think I was going to go out there at night and show you guys how to stripe at night, right? So, tomorrow, okay, we're going to get out there and we're going to stripe for you. Alrighty, so, couple, okay, recap. You have to be cutting at a level four or higher. That is their optimal, like, cutting height, right? 
We're gonna test that out. We're gonna see the range of motion is not good level one or two. Level three, it's not bad. Level four, a lot of range of motion. Level five, obviously you have the world of motion, okay? But we're gonna test it out because I, 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 I wanna see some stripes with the, the workhorse at a level one or level two, even level two, because we always cut at level two. I wanna see that in action, okay? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to review this thing tomorrow. It's gonna be epic. Thanks for watching, okay? We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.